Ah, uh, hold on. Let me let me get this for you. Let me get this for you. Oh, thank you. You know, that's just what I do. Oh. Also got this for you. Uh, what did you do that for? I did this because I'm an alpha male. Boom! Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click on the link in the description box below to sign up for the Tiger Fitness newsletter. Within a week of publishing this video, we will give out a $50 gift card to TigerFitness.com to one lucky person who does all of these steps. Boom! What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO MTS Nutrition. There's a show that I love watching. Love it. <clears throat> it's called Adam Ruins Anything. And the title of this episode and YouTube video that they post on YouTube is that alpha males do not exist. Now, in this video, Adam goes on to demonstrate that in the animal kingdom, alpha males actually do not exist. He has some compelling points. Look, I'm not a scientist who studies gorillas and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! I'm simply a man who provides for his family, who runs a few companies, who has a CEO status going on here, right? But and I do like to consider myself, and by all accounts of people who know me, an alpha male, but I think that we've misconstrued what alpha male is. And I think that there's a societal disconnect with being an alpha male and being an alpha douchebag. And for those of you who get offended right away, please watch this till the end of the video, because I promise, I promise, I promise, I will bring everything together right here. Now, they say that alpha males do not dominate the animal kingdom. However, I do believe that human, I'm talking about humans, I don't care if I'm comparing us to gorillas or lions, whether those exist, we can leave that to scientists to debate. What I want to talk about here is what makes an alpha male. And I'm using the term male, but again, before getting offended, please stay with me because I promise you I will tie this all together and not be a chauvinistic sexist pig. However, I am old school, I am a man. I am a man who loves his children, who loves his wife, and who believes in chivalry. So if this comes off as sexist, um, I apologize. An alpha male is not someone who gets in fights. It's not someone who's ego-based or practices a form of uh, culture that I call doucheism. That's the art of being a douchebag. An alpha male is not someone who puffs his chest and gets in fights. In fact, nothing makes a male more alpha than walking away from a fight unless it's in self-defense or in the defense of someone else. An alpha male doesn't pick fights to show that they are the alpha male because they don't need to. I haven't been in a fight since I was 17 years old. I have not been in a physical altercation. Before then, I was an immature piece of shit. Hardly an alpha male. I won a lot of fights. I got in a lot of fights. Probably hundreds. But I was not an alpha male. I just didn't know how to control my emotions. I didn't know how to control my anger. I was a little bitch. What makes a man a man, an alpha male, is responsibility. An alpha male is not a deadbeat dad. An alpha male is not someone who watches football on Sunday with his buddies instead of taking his kids to the park. An alpha male is not someone who doesn't pay their bills. An alpha male, I'm sorry, if they cannot provide, they go out and they find a way to provide. Whether it's getting a second job, a third job. My father, my father was the furthest thing you'd say is an alpha male. He was an accountant, had big ass fucking glasses, nerdy as shit, no muscle tone, used to be fat, lost a bunch of weight, sagging skin. Guess what? Push came to shove and I was born. We needed money and my mom couldn't hustle waitressing jobs anymore. So what did she, what did he do? He went out and drove a taxi cab on the south side of Chicago. That's a fucking alpha male. Whether he could fight, which he couldn't, whether he stood up for himself, which he couldn't, that very part of him made him at that moment in that situation an alpha male. Alpha males can be beta at times. We all have our beta moments. My dad, unfortunately, had more beta moments than alpha moments. I'll tell you what, when it comes to providing for your family, I believe that men and women should be equal in the workplace. 
However, I do believe that as a man, we should provide. If that makes me a sexist pig, so be it. My wife works full time. My wife, if she would have stayed in the workforce and not decided to help with the companies we we started together, my wife would be making more than me right now in the private sector. But you know what? We both made sacrifices and she's more alpha than I will ever be. Do not just exist, you know? You know, do not just exist. Make something happen. Support your family. Like I said, you need to earn. Love your children. A man does not simply have children and let the mother raise them. Sorry. I'm not a big fan unless stuff happens. If you can help it, you should be a part of your children's lives. I know a lot of you male crusaders who hate women or who have been disenfranchised by women and there are evil women and the system is definitely biased towards the females when it comes to child custody. I'm not gonna argue that point. However, I've seen a lot of men who as soon as they get divorced or separated, which I believe is a must in some cases, in most cases where if you wanna get divorced, it's obviously not a healthy situation to raise your children. I've seen a lot of men just kinda Oh, well, I got shit to do. She'll take care of it. A real man spends time with their kids. Look, I'll be real. I'm not, you know, there are they're, they're things that happen in one's life. And you know what? My wife and I were having a tough time. We had to go to counseling and everything. And the one thing that I couldn't imagine is not being with my children as a cohesive family unit every single day. Because I wanted to be a part of my kid's life. I want to be home every time I can when I'm traveling on business to teach my kids how to lift, to teach my kids how to run, teach my kids how to ride a bike, to give them a kiss goodnight, to hug them, to cuddle them. Men cuddle. Fucking alpha males cuddle. <laughs> Nothing wrong with cuddling your kids and reading books to them. That's an alpha male. An alpha male doesn't puff their chest. An alpha male leads by example. They lead from the front. Drive. Alpha males have drive to get better. Alpha males have drive to be more successful the next than they were the day before in all facets of life. Alpha males take initiative. Alpha males don't wait for something to get done. Alpha males get it done. Alpha males don't go, oh, well, you know, my coworker will get this done. They say, fuck it. I don't care who gets the credit for this project. We're winning this bid. We're getting it done. Alpha male isn't waiting for someone else to take the three-point shot. The alpha male, or as um, in Grover's book, the cleaner, which would be an alpha male, and please, before you claim I'm a sexist, stick with it, okay? I promise. Alpha male gets shit done. Chivalry, respecting women. An alpha male buys flowers. An alpha male opens doors for women. An alpha male, no matter what the feminist movement fucking says, sticks to the fact that guess what? There are fucking gender differences and men should open doors for women. And if that makes me a chauvinistic sexist pig, so be it. If there's a woman about to walk into the gym, I'm opening the door for her. I do it for men too. If I'm going on a date with my wife, I don't expect her to buy me flowers before the date. I'm gonna find a way to get out the house and bring her some flowers for date night. That's what fucking men do. Maybe I'm old school, I'm 37 years old just about, but get this, alpha men treat women like queens. Alpha men, and you know what? You're going to have fights. <laughs> Anybody who's been in a long-term or even a mid-term relationship, that honeymoon phase, that shit's over quick. You're going to have disagreements. But when you're in the presence and you're spending time with her, I'm not saying, you know, you can't argue, you can't dissent. That's called a relationship. But guess what? When it's date night, you turn it on, you put on that boys to men, and you light the candles, and you pour your wine. Okay, you make a wish. Okay, so I'll make love to you. Just fucking listen to boys to men song. Close your eyes. Make a wish. You gotta get smooth with that shit. Men don't have game anymore. That's another thing. I don't think alpha males can use Tinder. I'm sorry. Whatever happened to going and asking a girl out on a date? Yo, all y'all do nowadays is swipe right, asses at your door. There's no hunt. Real men, alpha men hunt. I'm sorry, I'm kidding. If I had Tinder in my day, I'd probably use the shit out of it. But still, get the girl some flowers. Be a man, open doors for her. Don't just treat her like the booty call. Speaking your mind, alpha men know there's a time and place. 
They don't go into a board meeting with Walmart trying to sell their product in and tell them how they feel about Trump v. Hillary. Alpha males speak their mind when it's time to be spoken. Alpha males aren't afraid to dissent. Alpha males aren't afraid to take charge. Alpha males aren't afraid of a good debate. That's an alpha male. Ah. Alpha males strive to win, always. Winning is everything, okay? Alpha males want to win. However, they know that losing is part of the process of becoming a winner. Like Michael Jordan says, the reason I win is because I lost a lot in the past. Paraphrase, I fucked that up. I know I fucked that up. But alpha males win, period. They try to win, they strive to win, and if they didn't win, they get back up, and they train harder, and they win again. Or they work harder, they do more reports, they do more research on their competitors, on their business, and they make shit happen. They do more market research, whatever your business is. It doesn't have to be training or sports. It can be business. Alpha males stand up for their ethics and they stand up for injustice. Whether you believe that someone was unjustly prosecuted, you stand up for it. I'm not talking it's time to riot in the streets. I'm talking it's time to dissent. It's time to debate. Alpha males also don't get offended by others who differ in their opinion. They simply debate it like real men. I've said the word men a lot, right? Anybody who knows anything about me knows that my 11-year-old daughter is everything to me and knows that despite all the issues and, and, and trying times we've had, I worship the ground my wife walks on because she's been such a great mother and such a great business partner and partner in life. And, and, and as of now, you know, we have a great, great marriage. An alpha male doesn't have to be a male. An alpha male can be a female, an alpha person. How do you know, how do I know that? How can this happen? I told, you, I told you about standing up for injustice. My daughter was in third grade, third grade. And as a parent, you pray for this situation. You wanna know how they'd respond. We had a neighbor girl, cute little girl, just awkward. Nothing weird about her, no like funny disfigurements, nothing like the movie uh, Mask, you know, with the guy with the elephantitis and the bumps on his face. Just a cute little girl who was a bit awkward, right? She's since moved. This fifth grader started making fun of her. Cammie stands up in between this girl and the fifth grader and says, stop making fun of my friend. A fifth grade boy. He goes, yeah, what are you gonna do about it? She looks him in the eye and says, do you really wanna find out? That kid sat the fuck down. My daughter didn't even tell me about this. She thought I'd be mad at her for starting a fight. The neighbor kids told me. My daughter, at that moment, did something more alpha than anything I've ever done in my life. As a nine-year-old girl, alpha doesn't require you having a penis. Alpha doesn't forbade those with a vagina. This isn't the fucking jungle. Adam ruins everything, says. We, we don't have to. An alpha is someone who does the right thing and who values responsibility, personal responsibility for their fucking actions. And they do the right thing and they white knight, they're Captain fucking America for that moment. That's an alpha male. This is what I'm preaching. It's not about having a big dick swinging around. It's not about having power. It's about getting better. It's about being powerful in your own right. It's about standing up for what's right and wrong. It's about not using violence, but if necessary, Standing up for what you believe in. It's about doing the right thing. That's what makes an alpha male. An alpha male doesn't puff his chest and say that he's the biggest, baddest guy on the block and flash pictures of him with his Lambo and all his bitches. A real man works his ass off, provides for his family, treats women with respect, and loves his children. And on the converse, an alpha female does exactly what an alpha male does. Want to know an alpha female? Look at, a, look at a woman who's working two jobs, going home and taking care of her kids as a single mother. 
I know there's a lot of single fathers doing the same, so don't think I'm just saying that all mothers, single mothers are great. I know there's a lot of single dads, but disproportionately so, there's a lot of deadbeat motherfuckers in this world who don't take care of their kids, and unfortunately, a lot of them are men. Unfortunately. And it fucking breaks my heart. My brother's father was a fucking deadbeat dad. Luckily, my dad worked his ass off to provide for both of us. But that motherfucking deadbeat, I hate that guy. Unfortunately, I've heard a lot of stories about that. We have a lot of friends like that. And the worst, even beyond financial, you could be a broke motherfucker and still be a good dad. You send what you can. If you're making $10 a week, your child supports at $100 a week, send a dollar. Do something. Do something. I mean, but here's what you need to do. I know too many men who have kids who don't love them, who don't go out of their way to spend time with them. And the mom's stuck there being a single mom, but the dad's still alive. The dad's still able and willing now they're still able to take care of their children, but they think that, oh, the mom's got it. Guess what? The mom doesn't got it. A kid needs a strong male influence in their life, and I'll stand by that, whether that makes me sexist, chauvinistic, um, intolerant. I'm not saying it can't be done by a single mother. I've seen a lot of great kids come out, but statistically speaking, man, statistically speaking, a strong male child's life goes a long way. If you're watching this and you're 17 years old, don't fall for the flash and gimmicks of the Lambos and this and that on YouTube and on Instagram and all your Insta famous people. What can you do? Save up for the future. If you have kids, make the right choice. Maybe a 529 savings account for college is a better choice than a really nice car for yourself. Be an alpha male. It starts now. It starts here and it starts with you. Better yourself every day at everything you do and you will be on the way to being the king of the alphas. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment down below. And of course, we have plenty of topics on this. Please go to content.tigerfitness.com and uh, let us know what you think. I'm Mark Wilbiner, tigerfitness.com because being an alpha male